July 29th, the reading is from Zephaniah chapter 3, verse 15. He hath cast out thine enemy. Cast out. It is finished. That's the work of the cross. At the cross, we are all equal. We are born and sin in our transgressions. We are prisoners of sin. But the Lord has victory over sin. There is no victory in death. The Christian faith is the only faith that gives life after death. And so this is a message by the prophet Zephaniah to the people of Israel. And the real reading is the future of Jerusalem. O oh, Jerusalem, if I forget thee, O oh, Jerusalem, may my right hand forget its skill. May my tongue cling to the roof of my mouth if I forget thee, O oh, Jerusalem. You and I are living that one day we will be in the new Jerusalem, the architect of whom is God himself. And so this is the victory for the future of Jerusalem because the Lord Jesus Christ will return and stand on the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem because the enemy has been cast out. There is no victory in this enemy over our lives. And so I read Zephaniah chapter 3 and this is how it sounds. Sing, O daughter of Zion. Shout aloud, O Israel. Be glad and rejoice. With all your heart, O daughter of Jerusalem. So even though we are going through afflictions, even though we are going through trials, there's only one reason why those afflictions are hitting us every day. is because there is an accuser. And the work of the accuser in John 10.10 10 is kill, steal and destroy. And I'm telling you as a Christian, it's not easy to be a Christian. It's not easy to get up every day and fight those battles, but the Lord is the warrior and the battle is of the Lord. And every day, the strength we get for every day, the manner is sufficient for, for one day only each day. The Lord has taken away our punishment. He has turned back to your enemy. The Lord, the King of Israel is with you. Never again will you fear any harm. What a godly self. On that day, they will say to Jerusalem, Do not fear, O Zion. Do not let your hands hang limp. The Lord your God is with you. He is mighty to save. He will take great delight in you. He will quiet you with his love. He will rejoice over you with singing. Who is singing? He, God, the angels, the whole triumphant chorus of heaven. And yet, in Malachi chapter 1, verse 1, and yet, God says to this, his people, I have loved you. Yet you say, how have you loved us? And so often in our own lives, we live life without any gratitude. I live it myself. And right now, I'm in a place alone, seeking God, just to say thank you, Lord, for all the trials, for all the tribulations that I can talk to you, Lord, every day through your word to tell you that I love you and I'm still here for you because the enemy will never win over my life and my heart. And that's why I always say, I will not die but live and proclaim the works of the Lord. The Lord has chastised me severely, but he hasn't and he will not give me over to death.